What's up guys, thank you so much today guys, make sure you and smash that like button so you can and subscribe and subscribe to today. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we're both talking to today's video. Hope you are feeling good, hope you're staying positive, hope you're gonna smile face, you will never ever ever take it off. Hope you're beautiful on the Sunday, by the way, homie, hope you're just having an amazing Sunday afternoon slash evening. Real quick, video for you guys, um, if you are a wrestling fan, like myself, you, you know that tonight is... Elimination Chamber. Um, I was I was planning on doing another video, but I was like, "Hey, it's Elimination Chamber night. Um, I should probably do these more often, but um, or do these before the pay per view." But since it is Elimination Chamber night, um, and you can only watch it on the WWE Network. Or go see it live. Um, I thought, hey, why not do a um, like what my reactions are to the matches and uh, what my predictions are uh, on who are gonna win these matches. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first match. The kickoff show, which nobody really cares about, is Luke Gallus and Carl Anderson versus The Mistourage. And that is the kickoff show. Which, to me, to me personally, I don't like the kickoff show because it's just, it's pretty much just, um... The the mid carters, I should say, the mid carters, going at it in a match that's pretty much pointless. But if I had a pick between Luke Gauss and Carl, Carl Anderson versus the Mistourage, I would pick Luke Gauss and Carl Anderson because let's face it, Mistourage they got nothing. With without Miz, the Mistourage they're nothing. So, my pick for this match, even though nobody cares about the, the kickoff, I'm going to go with Luke Gauss and Carl Anderson, victorious over the Mistourage. Next up, next match is the Raw Tag Team Championships going on the line between Cesaro and Sheamus, the champions, versus Titus Worldwide. If you don't know what Titus Worldwide is, it is Titus O'Neil. And Apollo Crews. Now, me personally, I'm a I'm a big fan of Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil. Um, but and since Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews did pick up a victory over the tag team champions, uh, I think it was like two weeks ago on, on Raw. Um. They, that, that's who I feel that's going to win, but Cesaro and Sheamus, the, I think it was a week, the week after, uh, Titus and Apollo won against Cesaro and Sheamus, I think the week after on Raw, they had a rematch and Cesaro and Sheamus won. So, me personally, who I think is going to win this match, because... Honestly, I love all these guys. Um, really? Phone? Really? Really? Clear that. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. See, I always hate this. When, like, I'm always doing my video and someone just calls. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, my pick for this is I'm going to probably go with... There we go. There we go. Get rid of that. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, my pick for this match is Cesaro and Sheep. Actually, no. I'm going to go with Titus Worldwide on this one. I'm going to go with Titus Worldwide because the way they're, the way they're going right now, um, I'm going to go with Titus Worldwide. Even though Cesaro and Sheamus might pick up 
a victory and retain their tag team titles, I'm still going to go with Titus Worldwide because, I don't know, I just have this feeling that Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews are working so well together that they can pick up a victory over Cesaro and Sheamus and win their first ever tag team champions. Ships. Um, the next match is what everybody wants to see, um, besides the men's Royal Rumble match. Um, we have Woken Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. Now, when, when Woken Matt, ever since Jeff Hardy got injured, rest in peace, uh, hope you come back, Jeff. Um, but ever since Jeff Hardy, um, I think... I think he twisted his leg, I think, or it was some it was something in his leg. Um, after Jeff Hardy uh, broke his leg or whatever he broke, um, Matt Hardy went into singles action. And this this match, when this match was scheduled, I was so psyched because Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, they are the biggest. I shouldn't say biggest, but scariest people on Raw, besides Bray, uh, besides Finn Balor, but um, and these two have fought it. Um, I think they fought at SummerSlam. Um, I think they fought the last pay per view. I forget what the last pay per view was, but um, when these two get in the ring, um, oh, and they fought on Raw One Thousand, not not Raw One Thousand, um. Was it Raw 1000? I think so. No, it was... I forget what Raw it was, but, um... I think it was the... 100... I think it was Raw 1000. No, not not Raw 1000. I forget... I know, it's, I know it was the anniversary of Raw. And Matt Hardy... And Bray Wyatt went at it, and they went at each other like it was nonstop, and it was it was it was a good match. So, but if I had to pick between Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, Matt Hardy has always been my favorite since he went into since him and Jeff came into the WWE. Um, so my pick for this match between Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, is, I'm I gotta go with Matt Hardy. Um, he's just a big, big. Um, just an amazing, uh, dude that I have, um, that I've looked up to for a while. Um, oh, and this is new. Ronda Rousey. If, if you, it, I hope you know who Ronda Rousey is. If you don't, she was a UFC fighter, woman's UFC fighter. He, she was a heavyweight champion. Um, and I think she had like two more titles on her and, and, uh, UFC. Um, she is signing her official raw contract tonight, um, at Elimination Chamber. Um, that should be really fun. Um, now since Ronda Rousey is signing her, her contract at Elimination Chamber, the diva, the, uh, the women's Rev revolution better get ready because when one, when Ronda Rousey gets in that ring, Oh boy, I feel like when Ronda Rousey, because I've seen Ronda Rousey, like, not in person, but I've seen one of her matches, and when she gets in that ring, boy, she goes off, she goes off, boy, like, so, all I'm saying is, the woman's revolution, they better get ready, because when Ronda Rousey is on the other side of you, you better get ready. Because you don't know what what's coming. Next up is Asuka versus Nia Jax. And I've, I've been looking forward to this match for weeks. They've been talking about it. There's been rumors about it. And it's finally happening. Asuka versus Nia Jax. Now, Asuka's undefeated. She's undefeated ever since she came in, ever since she came to NXT. And nobody has defeated her. Nobody in NXT has defeated her. Nobody uh, on Raw has defeated her so far. Uh, Sasha Banks was so close from defeating her um, and didn't happen. Nia Jax 
uh, was so close from defeating her. Didn't happen. So tonight is the night where Asuka could be... Um, Asuka's undefeated streak could come to an end um, from Nia Jax. And Nia Jax actually made a statement on Monday Night Raw this past week saying that she will be the woman to break Asuka's streak. Now, will that happen? Maybe. But Nia has been dominant so far. She took out Bailey and Nia, uh, excuse me, Bailey and Sasha Banks on Monday Night Raw. And then she made her uh, her promo, in a sense, saying that she would end Asuka's undefeated streak. Will that happen? I don't know. But me personally, I've been a not, I've been uh, I've been a Asuka fan ever since she came into NXT and worked her way up to WWE. So my pick for this match is going to be Asuka. She's going to overcome Nia Jax and go on to WrestleMania. And be Raw Women's Champion. Speaking of Raw Women's Championship. There will be the first ever Raw Women's Championship match. Elimination Chamber match I should say. Between Alexa Bliss the champion. Uh, Sasha Banks. Bailey, uh, Mandy Rose. Uh, Sonya Deville. Mickey James. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Mickey James, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, and Alexa Bliss. Yep, I think that's it. So my pick out of all those six women would probably have to be uh now, here's the thing. Now, it's hard to pick because all of these women are amazing at wrestling. And if you've seen all these women, um, they're amazing in the ring. Amazing. Um, now, in this Elimination Chamber match, you have two, two women from Absolution, um, which is Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. Now that might come into play with the rest of this the four women that four yeah, four women that are in there. Um but Mickey I, I have a feeling that Mickey, Sasha, and Bailey might team up for a little bit, get get the rest of them out of there, get get Alexa out of there, get Deville out of there, get Mandy Rose, and then battle it out for the for um, out of the three of them, and pr hopefully get a new winner. But for me, my pick, um, my pick for this match would probably have to be. I'm gonna go with probably Oscar. I mean, not Oscar. Um, probably Alexa Bliss. Because she's been dominant. I mean, yeah, she hasn't been on WWE Raw for quite a while. She hasn't had a match because she's been ready. She's been getting ready for her match at Elimination Chamber tonight. Um, but I have a feeling that Alexa Bliss is going to come out on top and win the uh, Women's Championship and retain her championship and go on to WrestleMania as champion and... Hopefully, Asuka will defeat her because I really want to see Asuka beat Alexa Bliss and have Asuka become the first ever Raw Women's Championship champion. Um, so that should be a great match. First ever women's first ever women's uh, elim elimination chamber match. That should be fun to see um, a lot of women flying all over the place. Um, and speaking of an elimination chamber. We have what every elimination chamber has had in the past, which is the men's elimination chamber match. And whoever wins this, the men's elimination chamber match will go on to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship at WrestleMania, which that elimination the men's Royal Rumble, the not a Royal, not Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber contains of uh, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, 
Finn Balor, Braun Strowman, Elias. Uh. Oh man, I'm trying to think of the other two. Um. Yes, I said two because I'll get that into a second. Bray Wyatt, I mean not Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Elias, John Cena, and who was the last one? Oh man, who was the last one? Uh, oh, Miz, 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 there we go. So the reason why I said two is because the for the first time ever, instead of having a six man elimination chamber match, for the first time ever they're having a a seven man elimination chamber match. First time in history. Um overall, I feel like this will be a an amazing match. Um Overall, because you have some of the greatest in that match. You have John Cena. You have Roman Reigns. You have Finn Balor. Um, you have Seth Rollins. You have four of the best um, guys in there. Along with Braun Strowman, Elias, The Miz. Um, so, the question stands, who is my pick? For this seven man elimination chamber match, it's hard to pick. But if if I had a if I had a if I had to pick two, um, I would pick either Roman or Braun. Just because Braun is so Braun's the big one out of this whole elimination chamber match. He is the biggest one in. The, the Elimination Chamber match tonight. Um, but I'm probably, if I had to go with one, even though I love all these guys so much, um, besides Miz, because Miz sucks, I'm sorry for whoever loves Miz. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of Miz. Um, and not Elias either. I hate Elias. Um, but... If I had to pick between Rollins, Roman, John, Braun, and Finn Balor to win the Ro to win the Elimination Chamber, I would. Now there's rumors. There was rumors going around that either Seth Rollins, John Cena, or Finn Balor that were, that was going to win this match. Now I don't know how true they are, but if I had to pick between Roman, Seth, John, Elias, Braun, Finn Balor, Miz. I'm probably, probably going to pick Braun. Even though I'm a Roman Reigns fan, and I know a lot of you are probably going to boo at me, but I'm going to go with Braun. I'm going to go with Braun winning the Elimination Chamber match and going on to face Brock Lesnar at... Uh, WrestleMania and hopefully win the Universal Championship and uh, finally get a one on one match. Um, but if, if Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar go out at WrestleMania, oh my gosh, that is a main eventer by itself. That is just, that's going to be an amazing match. Um, but yeah, there, there you go, guys. There is my reactions and my. Predictions on who I think is going to win tonight's Elimination Chamber matches. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and who you think are going to win tonight. If you are a big wrestling fan, if you're not, then, well, you just you just sat through 20, 19, 20 minutes of me just talking about this. So, but if you are a wrestling fan and you do, and you do uh, care about this type of stuff, and you want to uh, you know give your give your thoughts about um, what I said about people and stuff like that. And you and if you also want to give your predictions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much again for all the love and support.
I appreciate you all. I, I'm blessed to have each and every single one of you in my life. Um, and uh, thank you guys for stopping by. Hit that thumbs up button if you can. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't forget, you are beautiful. You are absolutely one of a kind. Always keep that big smile on your face. Never take it off. Always turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. See you guys next time. Stay positive. You're awesome. Bye, guys. Peace. Yay! See you before I forget. If you do, hit just subscribe. With me, hit that subscribe button or on the screen on my face. You, you can click my face. Slap subscribe and have me subscribe. So click the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And then, as always, if you may see this video, that means the screen as well. So check that out as well. Um. Oh, and if you haven't followed me on my social media, that'll be all in the description below. And um. Yeah. Oh, and I want to talk. Uh, I want to talk about something real quick. Is I can't, I can't monetize, so, which kind of sucks, I can't monetize my videos, I don't know why, um, so I guess you guys get ads free, I guess, I don't know why, but I went on a couple of my videos to monetize them for ads, and I can't monetize them at all. Like, it will, YouTube has literally taken the monetization off of the settings. So, like, I can't monetize my videos. The only thing that I could do is add my ending, where I, where I show my face and uh, yesterday's video and all that type of stuff. I can show that. I just can't monetize my videos. And that, to me, feels weird. Like, I can't, like, I always used to monetize my videos. But now I can't, and that, to me, that's just weird. But anyways, just wanted to get that off. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much again for all the love and support. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Oh, and down below is a bell. Tap that little bell so you do upload, and hopefully you get my post -occasions. And then as always, like I said, go down there, leave a nice comment, um, and tell me what you what your predictions are about tonight's Elimination Chamber match. Hope you guys will be watching. I know I will. Uh, the pre-show is actually on right now. Because uh, I just got a notification about the pre-show. Um, so go watch that. If you're not watching this, I hope you're watching the pre-show. Um, and just, yeah. Just having, a just having an amazing Sunday. Uh, whatever you're doing. If, if you're watching me or another YouTuber. Or you're just hanging with family. That's cool. I don't care. But, um, yeah. That's it. See you guys tomorrow. Just too sweet, baby. See my peace out. Hey. See y'all. Love y'all.